I wish I could eat something delicious right now. Some pasta would be the perfect snack for me. That's my signature dish. That'll be easy. Pasta? I have no idea how to make that. First, you need to cook the spaghetti. Okay, I'll just repeat after everyone else. Then something will work out. Probably won't need this rope. I'll just put everything in the boiling water. Dang it, does it fit in the pot? Gonna have to squish it in. Just watch Granny Teddy. She knows how to cook. We put the spaghetti in the water. And wait for it to warm up. And voila! Everything fits in the pan. And it turned out just perfect. Are you serious? That doesn't look like pasta at all. Professionals cook differently. You've got a lot to learn from me. Kate, you can't surprise us with your tricks. We'll see about that later. First, you need to make the pasta yourself from scratch. For that, I'll need some eggs and flour. Now we mix everything together. I love this, it's so relaxing. Okay, the dough is ready. Time to roll it out. I have to put a little effort into it, but I don't mind. Nothing I can't handle. My pasta's ready, time to boil it. Most of the work's already been done. Now I'm gonna take care of the seafood. Jess is gonna love this pasta. Bellissimo! The most delicious thing about pasta is the cheese. What are you doing, Ted? I'm trying to get my macaroni out. It's stuck. Dang it, that didn't work. Time to give up and try something else. I came up with an idea. I can use some gum. I'm gonna make some sweet pasta. And decorate it with chocolate sauce. Super! I wouldn't mind eating this myself. Well, well, let's see what we've got here. Oh, shrimp! I'd like to try that, it looks delicious. And it smells good. It's pretty good, but nothing special. Ooh, there's a lot of cheese here, I like that. And the pasta's all stuck together. Although, that's a pretty good thing. Now I can take a big bite at once. Whoa, this is chewing gum, cool. This tastes so good. I think the winner's pretty obvious. It's this sweet pasta dish. I did it! I'm starting to get good at this. Be patient, Ted. The next dish is already on the picture. A hot dog? That's easy. Hey, what are you doing? Do you really need to fry the sausages? Thought you could just eat them. Ted, you're so silly. You can't eat raw sausages. Looks like I gotta play by some new rules. I'll take this oil if you don't mind. Hey, what's this thing here? Don't need that. I'll just pour it in the pan and I'm done. And I'll put it on high. This isn't gonna end well. All right, it's all warmed up, time to fry. Don't do that, Teddy. Hey, what's this? Oh, why didn't you tell me earlier? Take that. That's it, I gotta get rid of this frying pan. It's trying to kill me. Okay, everything's fine now. Next time, ask before doing something like that. What's that smell? Ooh, perfectly roasted. Time to send this sausage straight to a bun. And we'll add a little bit of mustard and we'll be done. Ooh, it's very spicy. Just the thing. It looks perfect. Ted, what's going on? Well, I tried roasting this sausage with a gas burner. I did really good, didn't I? What amateurs. Who let you guys into a kitchen? I don't even know. Watch and learn. First, I'm gonna make the dough. This is simple enough. Eggs, milk, and flour. Now I'll mix it all together. Super, just what I needed. Now I'll take the sausage with some cheese. And I'll put them on the skewers. 
perfect. I already like this. And in a small saucepan, I'll pour some oil for frying. Now I'm gonna fry my hot dog. Just a little bit left. Time to dip the sausage in and roll it around in some chips. That'll make it extra crispy. Now I'll dip it in the oil and wait for it to fry. Ready? Watch and be jealous. Finally, I add some sauces. Ketchup and mustard. Kate, that looks wonderful. Hey, I'm not done yet. I need some more sauces. Now this is turning out great. Sorry, but I don't think so. I'll be the one to decide that. So, what's this? Looks like a mess. Ugh, gross. But this is pretty good. I really like the taste of this. It's pretty normal, but the dough's good. There's just not enough fillings. Let's check out this third option. Whoa, check out that crust, I like it. This smells so good. Just from the first impressions alone, it's divine. This is the best thing I've ever tried. Congratulations. Hooray, just like my dish. I don't understand why we need so many fruits and vegetables. It's simple, Ted. You need to make a smoothie. Go ahead and use everything on the table. I'm sure I'll make the best smoothie. We'll see about that. I've already won this. Time to repeat my success. I'll need all the sweets here. Just can't resist them, you'll see. Chocolate bars, gummies, candy. What could be better? Now I need to add in some soda. This is gonna be a sweet explosion. Hey, where's the button? Time to whip this up nice and good. Let's go. I'm not sure it's safe to eat that many sweets. On the other hand, if you cook with vegetables, it can be really healthy. To do this, I'm gonna need these vegetables. As many vegetables as possible. This onion smells so good, just lovely. Wow, and the cucumbers are crunchy. Oh, I almost forgot about the tomatoes. They add a little sweetness. Now I'll put everything in the blender and blend it up really good. And finally add some greens. My healthy smoothie's almost ready. Just no. one sip and Jess is gonna feel right as rain. You'll see. How gross. Yeah. I'm afraid to imagine what that drink's gonna taste like. I feel bad for Jess. I'll make her something delicious. I'll take this watermelon. That's a good base for anything. Now I'll cut off the top and put it in a blender. Now we turn the power on high. Then I'll use the watermelon as a bowl. I'll scoop some kiwis into there and some other fruits. Now I'll add a little bit of coconut milk. This is great. Now I'll put in a straw so you can try it. Do you like it? Jess, we're all set. Time to make your choice. Give me your smoothies. Wow, they're all so different. They don't look alike at all. I wonder what's here. It doesn't look very good. I even say it looks disgusting. Ugh, it's too sweet. I don't like it. And that slush scares me. It doesn't look like a very good color. I'm scared to even try it. Oh, I almost threw up. This last smoothie looks pretty cute, especially compared to the rest of them. I'll take a closer look. Wow, my name's written on it. That's so cute. And the taste didn't disappoint me. Great. Whoever made this drink won. I want more. It was me again. Wow. What are these, just blank cakes? You're not very bright, Teddy. But you are right this time. I want a cake. A cake is a piece of cake. This is my signature recipe. Jess is gonna love it. First, I need to make the frosting. I'll break some eggs and leave just the whites. We don't need the yolks yet. Now we're gonna whip it up into a nice foam. And we'll add some sugar to make it sweet. Time to kick up the heat. Now I'll show you how to work with a whisk. Now the whites are all whipped up, just like I said. The cream's totally ready. Time to cover up this cake. It fits perfect. It came out a little crooked, but it's still cute. Now I'll cover the top with cream. Otherwise it won't look finished. Oh, it's so lovely. I'll add some sprinkles. 
and some fragrant strawberries just from the garden. Wow, Grandma, that's not bad. It's not for you, Ted. Okay, okay. I'd better finish my own cake. Some gummy bears and chocolate sauce. That's the perfect combination. And I've already tried that before. I won with it before. It should help me now. I'll cover the top with another cake. And then I'll pour on some berry sauce. I think this is coming out great. These little chocolate candies will fill in the rest. <laughs> Kate's doing something <laughs> weird again. <laughs> Laugh however much you want. Let's see what you'll be laughing at when I finish my dessert. First, I need to make the caramel. I'll show you a really quick trick. I promise you'll be amazed. I'll pour caramel all over this balloon, and then I'll deflate it. And now I cut. Voila! We've got an edible dessert bowl. How do you like that? Not so funny anymore. Now I'll take the sponge cakes and some whipped cream. It may look simple, but it's really tasty. Look at how tasty that cream flows. I have to stop myself from trying it. Now let's add some strawberry toppings. That's it, all done. Wow, that's really great, Kate. We'll see who wins. So many cakes. My eyes are racing. I was dreaming of this from the very beginning. Let's try this small one first. It's so cute. You know, I think there's too much cream here. I take it back. It's perfect. I wonder what this big cake tastes like compared to the small one. Ooh, I know. This is Grammy style. Oops, I think I took too big of a bite, but it was totally worth it. Yummy. I got no words. I want to put this in my mouth right now. All right, I need to make my way to the last cake. He's been waiting for me. The candy on top, original. Wow. This tastes so good. It's so tasty. I don't know which to choose. Each cake is so good. But I think I like Grandma's cake the most. I knew it. Thank you, my girl. Congrats. I have a really simple task for you. Make me some scrambled eggs. Well, that's not complicated. Easy peasy. I'm gonna make a real gourmet dish. Hey, Grandma, stop sleeping. The challenge has already started. We need to make scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs? Why, thank you, young lady. Well, it's time to start. I'll need that oil too, Mary. Sure. You can't have scrambled eggs without oil, right? Hey, why isn't it pouring? Stupid bottle. I didn't need to get that much oil. Oops. Ted, now you take an egg. Which you'll break into the frying pan. It's very simple. Yeah! Nothing could be easier. Here we go! And one more! Well, that was almost right. These guys are useless. I can definitely beat them. Cooking's my thing. Scrambled eggs are so easy too. But I'm gonna make these a little more fun. First, I'm gonna separate the yolk from the whites. Then, I'm gonna mix up the whites. Until they become nice and foamy. Why is she doing all that? I have no idea. Turned out great! Now let's mix up the yolks. And pour them right into the pan. Here they go! Those are some weird scrambled eggs. Why'd you separate them? Because this makes the eggs a lot more fancier. Just look how fancy my dish looks now. Very. But I think all you need is salt and pepper to give scrambled eggs a little extra kick. Ah! 
Ted! What's wrong? It's so hot! Why is it hissing like that? What's happening? Help! I think my scrambled egg wants to kill me! Maybe it's because you should have turned the stove off a long time ago? You burnt them all! Oh no! That's not what was supposed to happen! Well… Maybe I can make it taste better with some whipped cream! Whipped cream goes good on everything, right? Okay, I'm ready! I have everything ready too! Wow! Mary, you did something really unusual! Do you mind if I touch it? Hands off! This is a real delicacy! All right, Kate, it's your choice! I don't even know where to start! What's this black scrambled egg thing? With white on top? I can't even cut it! Mmm, but these fried eggs with the gooey center… Looks so appetizing! Just gotta try it! Delicious! This is exactly what I wanted! I wonder what this is… It looks really strange… It tastes really good! But still… I like plain old ordinary scrambled eggs the best. Yeah! Grandma, you won! Love ya! Grandma won! <laughs> Grandma beat them all! In this round, you're gonna need to try to make me a delicious burger. Easy peasy. Oh, I don't know anything about burgers. I love burgers! I might end up eating this myself. It's time to start cooking! It's time for me to win! Hey, that's my tomato! You can't just take it away! My granddaughter's not gonna get just a delicious burger, but also a very healthy burger! Tomato, onions, cucumber… I won't need any of that meat! You know it's really bad for you! No worse than your cooking! The main thing is to cook with love! Then my healthy burger won't just be healthy. But also delicious! <laughs> this is what I mean by healthy eating. None of your junk food. Even ghosts on a farm don't eat that much grass. I can't believe you're gonna give that to your granddaughter. What's a burger without an actual burger? It's the most important part! Then all you need is some cheese and sauce. I'm already drooling. Ah, stupid onion! Who came up with the idea to put this on burgers anyways? Oh, come on! I can't cook anything! Don't be upset. Here, have a piece of chocolate. A chocolate bar. That's it! That's such a great idea! Why cook a regular burger when I can make it sweet and chocolatey? This is gonna turn out so cool! Just a little more chocolate left. Wow, this is gonna be the coolest chocolate burger you've ever seen! And the cherry on top of the cake is gonna be this chocolate syrup. Makes my burger look amazing! Wow! I've never seen a chocolate burger before! I think it's gonna be really tasty! Mmm, this is amazing! Let's see what'll happen next. Hey, where's the patty? What am I? Some goat on a farm? It tastes too healthy. Burgers like this don't put me in a very good mood. Whoa, but this third one's a real contender! This burger looks way cooler! 
Mmm, yummy. Just the thing for a perfect lunch. Which burger should I choose? The sweet one? Or the hearty one? No, after all, I like sweet more. It's way more original. Yeah! Woohoo! I won! <laughs> what are we gonna cook this time? I want pancakes. I haven't had those in a while. Oh, I'll show you guys. You're gonna get it from me. I don't know how to make those. What should I do? Well, get started. My only chance is to watch everybody else cook. Apparently, you gotta start with milk. And now it's time for the eggs. And now you have to add flour and mix it really well. I'm just saying, just in case you know, you forgot. Honey, I'm a grandma. I don't forget anything. And I don't need your electric devices. What should I do? Apparently all I have left is a fork. This is turning into some kind of disgusting porridge. <gasps> Ted, watch and learn. Your grandma's pancakes are the most delicious. So beautiful. I think it'll be very tasty. Mary, what are you doing? I want my pancakes to look cool too. So maybe if they're bright colors, they'll leave a more lasting impression. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Grandma, but looks like you've already lost. And if I can make my pancakes into an unusual shape… Well, then I'll be a genius! What should I do? I don't have anything ready at all! Maybe I should just dump this all onto the frying pan? Maybe that'll work? Kate! Look how beautiful mine is! Try my pancakes instead. They're much tastier. Ah! It's on fire! What's that stink? I'm done too! All these pancakes look great. But first, I'll start with this beauty in the center. This girl looks like me! I've never seen a portrait of myself on a pancake before. And this pancake tastes incredible. But this little burnt lump doesn't look appetizing at all. I don't even think I'm gonna try it. Not. I guess all that's left is the pancake on the third plate. So yummy! This is definitely the most delicious pancake of them all! Well, Grandma? You've won! Hooray! I knew it! Oops, sorry! I'm gonna show you! Will you take that? No, you take that! I wonder what dish Ben made for the first challenge. Wow, a watermelon. But how can it be interesting to cook it? Well, Emma, what ideas do you have? Surely you can come up with something different. Hey, be careful! Yeah, it seems now Emma has a lot less options for cooking a watermelon. But you can still come up with something, right? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Cold chills, but how will they help you? No, it's definitely not gonna work. Hmm. And that too. No, it's not gonna work. A bucket? I'm afraid to ask, but what do you need it for? Ah, uh, this watermelon has already collected so much dust. It's definitely not a good option for food. Emma, you're going to throw this away, right? Oh no. She wants to serve such a dish to Ben. What a horror. 
Yeah, Grandma is disappointed. It's time to show Emma what a beautiful watermelon serving is. Let's go. Great. Let's see what's inside. Wow, the watermelon was cleaned just perfectly. Now we take a special knife to cut it beautifully. Wow. It remains to put these perfect pieces on a plate. That's it. Hmm, it seems there's one extra piece left. Why not eat it? Well, it's the turn of our chef, Betty. Look carefully because a real master is working. Wow, what an unusual shape! This is a real work of art. Now Betty cuts a little more from the edge. Now like this. Mm, something's missing. Wait, Betty's doing miracles. And… Look at this! It's incredible! It's just perfection! Bravo, Betty! All three dishes are ready, which means that's time to make a choice. Wow! How cool everything looks! Let's start with this dish! Mmm, what a juicy piece! Watermelon without peel is super! Definitely like it! So what is this? Um, is this a joke? There's some dirt on a watermelon! Uh, disgusting! Whoa! But this is already interesting! Let's try it! I wonder if Ben will like Betty's dish. Hmm, it seems one piece was not enough for him. This is already a good sign. It seems the choice is between grandma's dish and Betty's. Of course, our chef is winning. Congratulations to Betty! A worthy and most importantly deserved victory! What can I say? A master! A new challenge! And this is… An egg with a surprise? Wow! How can it be cooked? I have no clue, bud! I'll try! Hmm, what can be easier? I need this… and that… um… and this! And how do I cook it? Um, we can try it that way and this way. Oh no! Oh, it looks like grandma's egg came out of the shell. And what should she do now? Hmm, of course. We pour out the remains of the egg, leave the shell, it'll be useful to us. Now a little gelatin and some water. We throw a piece of kiwi there and mix it. Then we need to do the same thing but with a different color. Wow, there's so many different beautiful colors! Now we take the resulting liquid and the syringe like this. Great. And now the shell will come in handy. We pour liquids of different colors into it. Super. But Betty doesn't seem to be impressed. I'm gonna show you what a real egg is with a surprise. To begin with, melt the white chocolate. It turned out to be a perfect chocolate cream. We pour it into three different containers. Now we'll add a little color. Perfect. One, two, three. Now we need a special egg form. We pour our miracle cream there. Shake it a little. Now it remains to cool it off. Let's open it. Oh yeah, that's what we need. Just perfect! I'll add some whipped cream and filling inside our shell. Closing it. And voila! The world's best surprise eggs are ready! Hmm, whatever. Yeah. It's time to peel the shell and look at my result. Yes, I think Ben will like my dessert more. Just look at this beauty. Emma, what, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Emma, you really need to figure out what to do. There's not much time left. And it seems she has an idea. Maybe it's that surprise that will be in the egg or in a balloon. Does anyone understand what she's up to? What? Nutella? Why is Emma covering this ball with Nutella? So many questions. Only one thing is clear for sure. With Nutella, even a balloon looks delicious. Still, it's interesting to know what it all means. Now the final touch with sprinkles. But it's still not edible. Well, time is up. Time for Ben to make a choice. One, two, three, and… I'll start with this. Whoa. So many colors! Is that jelly? 
I don't like jelly, but in general it's not bad. What do we have here? Wow! How much whipped cream! I love it! And chocolate? It just melts in your mouth! Just super! <gasps> what a huge dessert! Wow! Emma, was it really all a prank? Well, at least the surprise turned out to be real. Although, something tells me that it will not be enough to win. Who's going to win, Ben? <laughs> of course, of course it's Betty's dish. Another confident victory. Bravo! We'll start with a simple one. Cook me some delicious pancakes. Pancakes, I can do that. I've made so many pancakes in my life. I know their recipe by heart. First, you need to mix flour with milk. Then break the egg into the resulting mixture. Zach, what are you waiting for? Repeat after me. How do you say you need to do this? I have a deep plate. The only thing left is pour flour there. And the more the better. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, yeah, it's not easy to cope with flour. Next come the eggs. You also need to be careful with them. And we must not forget about the milk. Grandma taught it that way. Whoa, Grandma, yes, you have a full-fledged doll ready. Yes, yes, there will be pancakes soon. Damn it. What have I done? Granny, it's all your fault. I was distracted by you and accidentally poured my doll. But never mind, I think after I shake it up, everything will be okay. Strange. Uh, the stupid mixer is just stuck. Come on, get out of there. Uh, where are the mixer nozzles? Oh no, how do I get them out? Ugh. Apparently they have settled in my dough forever. <laughs> yeah, Zach, you're a lousy cook. We'll have to cook the most delicious pancakes ourselves. I don't have any competitors anyway. Just look at this beauty. So beautiful. Of course, these pancakes need to be poured with maple syrup. So they will become even tastier. A piece of butter wouldn't hurt either. Granny turned out, of course, not bad, but too boring. Why not make pancakes also colorful? So it will be more interesting to eat them. Wow, beauty. The dough is ready. Let's cook. My pancakes are in the form of famous characters. So they will be bright, tasty, and memorable. Such beauty will definitely not leave your head for a long time. So beautiful. Let's flip it. Just a little more on the other side. And ready. Well, everyone got such beautiful pancakes. What should I do? That's right. Why well, cook pancakes from dough? You can just take the finished one. For example, cut out circle of bread with the help of cups. To make them tastier, you need just sprinkles and whipped cream. And if you add a little bright sprinkles, my bread pancakes will become even tastier. Look, it's almost ready. The last gesture. Look at this beauty. Kate, it's time to pick a winner. Wow, I didn't expect such a variety of pancakes. Let's start with Zach. I hope this pancake won't disappoint me. Although they look quite strange. But sprinkles and cream are good. Well, let's move on. Who are these blue freaks? Original. But are they delicious? Ooh, I really like it. This time, they definitely tried for me. Well, the only one left is from Grandma. Grandma, don't let me down. Mmm, so gorgeous. Oh, a taste of my childhood. Grandma, you know best how to make delicious pancakes, so the victory in this round goes to you. 
Aw, oh, hooray, don't worry. Someday you will be lucky, too. Are you ready for the second round? Then make some delicious hot chocolate for me right now. We'll be done. Easy. While everyone is chatting, I, as the smartest, enjoy Nutella. Sag, aren't you ashamed of yourself? I need this Nutella to make hot chocolate for Kate. I plan to win this round, too. To do this, I need to stir the Nutella with milk. Then put this mixture on the fire. And of course, stir it well. Mmm, smells delicious. Oh yeah, the smell is amazing. It's time for me to start cooking. But the milk won't open. Ugh, I'll finish you off anyway. Oh no! I'm covered in milk myself. I definitely need to win. So that sacrifices were not in vain. To do this, I use the favorite chocolates of all people on the planet. I will definitely not lose face with them. Watch and learn. Hot chocolate is the last century. Today, chocolate is served separately because it looks more beautiful this way. And it also is much tastier. I just know an excellent form from serving it. It just needs to be smeared in a special shape. This way, there are gonna be half spheres. And then I'll put them together to make a ball. I'll pour cocoa inside so it will taste even better. And some marshmallows too. Now, just close it. Voila! And I'm gonna put more chocolate on top. Just perfect. Now you can pour hot milk into a glass. It is enough to throw one ball into it as it immediately becomes chocolate. Oh, so difficult. My granddaughter loves homemade cocoa and hot chocolate. I like it too. What is this smell? Ah, Zach, your hot chocolate is burning. Oh no, I'm gonna turn it off. Ah, oh, why is chocolate so hard? Did I not cook anything? Oh no. Well, let's pretend that I planned it. Chocolate sculpture. Well, well, well. Zach, what did you do? It doesn't really look like cocoa or hot chocolate. Mm, big deal, it's just a bunch of chocolate bars. That won't do. Let's see what my beloved granny has prepared for me. Mmm, homemade cocoa. Yummy. Also with cookies. Mmm, so good. The only thing left is to try what a miracle Chef Tina has prepared. The pitch, of course, is much more interesting than the rest. Whoa, I think I got it. Her hot chocolate is something incredible. Ooh, look how it melts. So magical. Is it really chocolate? Let's try. Mmm, it's just something incredible. The winner of this round is obvious. Tina, you're becoming one. Ugh, obvious. After all, I'm the only professional here. Now I want a cake. Big and delicious. I can cook cakes very well. <gasps> Easy. I can definitely handle it. It's good that grandma knows her granddaughter's taste. I'll be able to cook exactly the cake that Kate loves the most. And I will make it in the shape of a heart so that she also knows that I love her. Just like that. So cute. The layers need to be thoroughly smeared with cream so they won't stick together. The more you got the cream, the more delicious the cake will turn out. Therefore, you need to smear every millimeter of the cake with cream. And now, I'll just even the sides from the cake. Ready. Oh, so good. Now, there are no better decorations for a cake than fresh berries. You need to cut off the extra leaves from them and combine berries with the cake. Berries will give the cake sophistication and, of course, a pleasant taste. How do you like my creation? 
it's corny somehow. Now I will show you how to cook a delicious and great original cake. First, the cakes should be divided into two parts, after which a piece should be cut out of a cake. Ready. After that, you just need to repeat after grandma, but not for long. After each layer is covered with cream, time to flip and design it. Perfect. The base of the future rainbow is ready. Then we just need to decorate it with the right colors. I'm sure Kate hasn't tried a rainbow cake yet. Well, almost everything is ready. The only thing left is to smooth the cream and add some details. Perfect. And now we can just add some details. A rainbow with a face will be much more cute. And you can also finish off with drawing some clouds. Another one of my masterpieces are ready. Why bother so much? It's a cake. You'll have to eat it anyway. It's enough just to pile out of cream. Everyone loves it. Oh, it seems that Grandma and Tina cakes are clearly better than mine. But I'll fix it right now. To do this, I need to melt some chocolate. I hope I can do it quickly. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yum. So cool. And delicious. It's time to pour this chocolate on this cake. But you need to do this with a special mold. Yeah, don't forget about sprinkles. Look at that. Cool, right? And now... Whoa, so cool. Yeah, that's really good, Zach. Yeah, everyone did their best this time for sure. I don't even know where to start. Probably from Tina's cake. It's so cute. Delicious, but clearly missing something. Grandma, I hope I like your cake more. Mmm, yummy, but there's something missing here. Zach, maybe at least you made the perfect cake. Looks, of course, quite ordinary, but the appearance can be deceptive. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, and this is exactly the case. I haven't tasted such a delicious cake before in a long time. Zach, congratulations, this time the victory is yours. Finally, I already thought I can't win. <laughs>